Hello, in this video, let us solve this problem. Find x, y and d in the given right triangle. So you are given a right triangle ABC in which angle B is 90 degrees and uh, AC is hypotenuse, AC hypotenuse. hypotenuse uh, the length of hypotenuse is 61 units BC 11 units we have to find angle X angle Y and the length D first we will find D to find D of course we have to use Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem. Consider the right triangle ABC. Angle C 90. The side opposite to angle A is A. The side opposite to angle B is B. The side opposite to this angle C which is the right angle here is C. When we represent the sides we will use lowercase letters. And when we represent the angles, we will use the capital letters. And from Pythagoras theorem, we know that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. That is sum of the squares of the sides, that means legs, is equal to square of the hypotenuse. Mathematically, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. This Pythagoras theorem we will use here and find D. So, D squared plus 11 squared is 61 squared. D squared plus 11 squared is equal to 61 squared. From this we can find D squared and hence D. So, D squared will be 61 squared minus 11 squared. Okay. 61 squared minus 11 squared we can use the formula a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b plus b into a minus b a plus b into means multiplication a plus b multiplied by a minus b now for this if you apply this identity here 61 plus 11 multiplied by 61 minus 11 okay minus 11 61 plus 11 is 72 61 minus 11 is 50 multiplied by 50 this 72 of course you can write as 36 into 2 36 multiplied by 2 the 2 you can take along with this 50 so 2 multiplied by 50 you will have 100 so 36 into 2 into 50 36 multiplied by 100 this is d squared but we want d so you take the square root 36 multiplied by 100 so if you want to find the square root this is in a convenient form take square root of 36 which is 6 take square root of 100 which is 10 so 6 into 10 is 60 Therefore, D is 60 units, 60 units. This value of D as 60 units, I will enter in the picture, 60 units. Okay, we have finished one part of this problem. Then, we will see how to find this X. For that, we will use the trigonometric ratio of sin X, which is opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse, sin X. So, to find x we have sin x is equal to 11 by 61 that is opposite side by hypotenuse which is 11 by 61 the hypotenuse 11 by 61 so x is equal to sin inverse of 
11 by 61 depending on the calculator setting we are going to use calculator for this if you are calculator is in the degree mode when you find sine inverse you will get the angle in degrees okay let's say you have set it in the degree mode so x is equal to sine inverse of 11 by 61 the calculator will give you 10.4 degrees if you have set it in the degree mode so we found x to be 10.4 degrees if you want to have the angle in radian set the calculator in radian mode you will get 0 0.18 radian that is 10.4 degrees is equal to 0 0.18 radian so enter this angle of 10.4 degree into the picture okay next we have to find out angle y to find y you proceed like this to find y we know the sum of all the three angles 9 180 degree so x plus y plus 90 degree is equal to 180 degree which is a theorem you want to find y therefore 180 minus 90 degree minus x is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree for x you will put 10.4 degree so when you simplify this you will get 79.6 degrees so y is equal to 79.6 degrees so this list gives you the set of solution x is equal to 10.4 degrees y is equal to 79.6 degrees d is equal to 60 units okay thank you